This is the Jumpstart Initiative, taking over Northbrook Student Radio with Roar, empowerment through communication. <laughs> Meow. You may or may not know that Worthing at the moment is in a, uh, a huge, the huge grip of a new festival, and that's starting up pretty soon. So what we'll do is we'll start off with two major wheels, major cogs in this wheel of the new festival. And I'd just like to welcome to Northport Student Radio, Gary Robson and Joel Shepherd. How are you? Uh, we're cool, thanks. Thanks for inviting us. It's, uh, it's good to be here at Northbrook. So, um, Gary and, and Joel, you're, you're from Jumpstart, but you're also involved in RAW. R-O-A-R. What is RAW? RAW. Well, RAW, Raw is um, an event we're organising as part of the uh, WOW Worthing World of Words Festival. The festival runs from the 15th of June to the 22nd. And there's loads of different events which are uh, about celebrating language and words and literature and stuff like that. And we were asked by WOW to put on a two-hour event at Speaker's Corner at Splash Point, uh, which is on Sunday the 22nd of June. And we're using it as a way of showing how you can use communication as a form of individual empowerment. And we're going to do that through rap, hip-hop and street dancing. Do you do all those things? No, of course not. (laughs) But we found a lot of people that do, luckily, and because... Speaker's Corner is usually known as sort of a place where people get up and talk about uh, political or religious things. We thought, why don't we talk about, you know, what individuals do talentedly, like dance or music or street chalking. So we've got uh, a lot of things going on. So it sounds a little bit more urban and a little bit more, uh, with a little bit fun and a little bit younger. Would that be fair to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we've chosen hip-hop and rappers because... Um, the, Worthing, the, the Well Festival wasn't really about music, it's about language and words. And we wanted to make something that was a bit more kind of uh, musical. It's the last day of the festival, so we wanted to have a bit of a celebration. So we thought, if we kind of jazz it up a bit, have some music, and we thought, what kind of form of music is good for words? And the perfect choice is rap and hip-hop, because it's all about clever wordplay, rhythm, and, and stuff like that, and language. So we thought, let's get some hip-hop artists from Norbrook College and around Worthing. So we've been gathering a group of people to, to perform. Raw is happening. What are the dates again for Raw? It's, uh, it's on Sunday the 22nd of June and it's going to be just for two hours, so between 5 and 7pm. And I think you said something about that there's, there's a because it's a speaker's corner, There's people have a right to get up and, and do their own thing, is that right? Yeah, there is actually a bylaw that sort of, it's the same as Hyde Park, that you can actually speak about anything as long as it isn't sort of found offensive by the police, which is kind of obligatory anyway but um yeah there's some interesting history about speaker's corner as well it was originally somewhere you go to before you were executed um at hyde park so if you were going to be executed you'd have your last say so it's kind of before death you have your last big say and that's kind of what we're doing here except in this case we we are allowed to survive. The, yeah, we'll the skip experience. the execution bit. Oh yeah, we're not we're not going to execute the performers at the end. No, no. Stay. <laughs> you've got to stay. Of education. You get a reprieve. We could maybe get an official reprieve. We could get the, um, the town crier to to bring a reprieve. Yeah, well, we have we have um, Bob, the town crier, is is comparing the event, so he's going to be introducing the acts. Um, and another thing that he's doing is. Um, He's presenting something that uh, a project that uh, Jumpstart have started and we're launching at RAW. It's called the Worthing People's Charter. And it's sort of inspired by work that uh, the political comedian Mark Thomas has done, um, where it's finding kind of ideas from the public or anyone with anything they think would be good to change or improve about their environment. So we want ideas from people about how they'd like to do things better in Worthing or things that they can think of that they could help make happen that would be a good thing to do in Worthing. So we're getting people to um, submit ideas for this charter online. So on our Facebook page is an app. You can post uh, messages about what you'd like to make happen. And we've got posters around town in St Paul's and cafes and bars and barbershops and stuff where people can write their ideas. And we're going to collect all those and we're going to kind of work out which ones we can present at Raw, so the town crier is going to read them out, and then we've got another compare who's going to kind of uh, work with the audience to vote for the ones that they like. And the way we're going to get people to vote is to roar. So if you like an idea, you've got to roar, and then if you don't like it, you've got to roar louder 
than the people that did before. So we're going to use um, like the old clapometer. A clapometer, so it'll be but a, with roaring. The, the amount of volume. The amount yeah. of volume. So. Yeah, you can get two really loud people. They could make a lot of you know, laws happen. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's well if if uh, if meritocracy is is uh, rule ruled by by those that that uh, do well, then this would be volumocracy. What, 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 what would this be? <laughs> Shatocracy. <laughs> we're not suggesting that uh, people who uh, we're not going to take those ideas forward from that vote. You know what, what we're going to do is look at all the ideas that come in, yeah. and we're going to try and see if there are real, really fantastic ideas we can help make happen as projects. Mm. We've had probably about a hundred-ish suggestions really? already. already, and there's some really good ideas. So, that, for example, somebody suggested having, like in blocks of flats and other sort of communal areas, that we have a, a Wi-Fi sharing scheme. So you have one purchase, one Wi-Fi sort of service. Oh. And everybody shares it rather than everybody having to buy their own. Yes. So that's a really cool idea for a people living in. Yeah, or, yeah. or student sort of houses of student residences and stuff like that would be really cool. Yeah. Broadband cooperative sounds cool, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, so that's one idea. But another, yeah. another idea was uh, suggested that uh, school children should get a salary for going to school. But no one suggested actually what they should be paid with, whether it's money yeah. or. Yes, or where it should come from. Yeah, or where it should come from. But yes. it's a nice idea. It is a nice idea. Uh, someone also suggested raising the leaving school age to 43 as well, which... It would mean we'd have to build a whole bunch more schools, wouldn't it? Or, or, or you'd have sco uh, schooling at home. It, it would solve unemployment in a single stroke. <laughs> 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 but maybe bring some other, other problems in. So people, people, people can contribute. So come along, roar, they can dance, because you know, there'll be lots of things going on to dance to. Um, or they can go online to uh, the Jumpstart Facebook page and submit their ideas for the charter. Fantastic. Well, that sounds great. Um, so thank you, Gary and Joel from Jumpstart. No problem. Cheers, cool. Mike. One, two, three! To find out more about RAW, go to www.jumpstartinitiative.org.uk forward slash RAW. R-O-A-R. Or... Check out our Facebook page at Facebook forward slash Jumpstart Initiative. <laughs>